So in this section, what I'm going to do is cover the setup guide as it pertains to Control X. Um, so in the Design X uh, section, we talked about how you can set up the arm, plug in the cables, whether it's the Ethernet and the USB, and you have to install WinRDS. And once you reboot the computer, um, turn on the arm and open up your software. So in this case, we're going to use Control X and we will connect it here. Now in that first video, um, I come over to the settings, we go to advanced mode and we adjust the laser settings, which are the same right now. So now what I'm gonna do is just cover how to connect it inside of Control X. So the first thing you're gonna do is come over to live capture, go over to Roamer, absolute and hit connect device and we are connected now just like before you can come into the settings and you can adjust the probe settings and the view settings scan data has all these same options the default in here i believe is point cloud inside of control x um, and there you go so now if you want to do uh, some probing inside of here you can do this with uh, we'll just start out with probing first and then we'll move over to laser because probing is maybe a little more popular um, to do when you're doing inspections right so if i want to just probe live geometry not really do an inspection but just come in here and probe geometry you'll see up at the top it's actually looking for all this types, all these types of geometry, and based on what you probe, it will create that point. point. So I'm, I'm collecting a bunch of points that are very flat. So it looks at the RMS of a plane, and realizes that it is a plane. So now if I hit back, if it is not a plane, I can use the arm to scroll up and down and select another feature to fit to those points. But it is. In this instance, I'll capture a plane. Point. Plane. Same thing there. Now, I didn't uh, s attach this, so I will just be Point. very gentle. Plane. Silicone. Sphere. So you'll see here that it is a sphere that I'm probing. And then I can change the geometry type or keep on probing. So that's how you can just like generically probe things inside of here. Most of the time you're going to be doing an inspection though. Um, so we'll go ahead and we will create a new file. Now if I want to capture scan data, I can just toggle over. And we will go ahead and pull the probe off because the probe occludes the area. So if I want to capture data with the laser, I can come over to live capture. And then on the roamer itself, you have the ability to press and cycle through all these settings where you can change your probe or switch between probing and scanning. So you can cycle through these. So I just switched to probing, but I don't have a probe. So what I'm going to do is switch back to laser and then make sure this is on laser over here. So you can toggle back and forth depending on the device that you have. There's a switch on the side or the front that will switch it from probing to scanning. So if I want to just capture laser data, now I just come into live capture. There. And then when I'm done, I hit that back button. And then I can hit uh, change position or just exit live capture. 
So there is how to collect data. So live geometry, we talked about live dimension, is very similar to live geometry. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and switch back over to probe. And then I can line up my probe. Actually, you have to open this up. So there's three dots on this one that tell you how to align it up. So now if I come over to Live Dimension, what it'll do is it just like Live Geometry, it'll look for the geometry that you are probing and point, point. fit it for you. So I'm just going to measure from a plane to a sphere. Point, plane, sphere. Cone, sphere, linear dimension. And you'll see that it create a linear dimension. So as I just probe things, it will make the measurements for me. And if I just get out of this, and we will exit live dimension, you'll see that it just created on screen here some geometry and then measured it. Now, if I need to change something about that dimension, I can edit and I can come in here and say measure from the mi the minimum distance of that uh, sphere and then change it and update it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do a new file and just do a really fast uh, play live inspect demonstration. I know that this is a setup video, but this is a really important piece of the functionality here. So if I go ahead and drag in the CAD model, what I'm going to do is tell the software that I want to do a datum alignment. And the datum alignment is going to be from the top side, side there. And then I want to come over and do a dimension between um, let's just say this uh, sphere and that plane. So we'll come over here and say smart dimension from here to there. And then let's make a dimension, uh, angular dimension from here to there. So now if I come over to live capture, play live inspect, uh, before I go ahead and do my inspection, I'm going to clamp this down because you should do that if you're probing. You shouldn't use the pour method that I have here. So if I come over to play live inspect, it'll prompt me to measure the Plain thing. Planar face. The pr it's going to prompt me to go ahead and measure the things that I need for the alignment. Planar face. Planar face. All geometries measured. So the alignment is done. You can retry that, or you can come over and then start inspecting stuff. So it will suggest to you what you might want to probe, or you can probe stuff. Plan and that you know you have to probe ahead of time, and then come over here. All geometries measured. So you'll see that it just directs you with this live inspect to create the dimensions. And the reason why I didn't have to probe anything over here for this angle of dimension is because there were already planes for the alignment here, and I already probed that one for this dimension, so it's able to make that dimension for me automatically. So that's just a quick overview of the setup inside of Control-X with a Roamer arm.